All right, guys, I'm going to show you a game called The Jimi Hendrix Case. It's a Venture Game Studio game. This game is uh, basically uh, a detective type of game. It says, enter the world of Jimi Hendrix police detective in a world where everyone is Jimi Hendrix. Only Jimi Hendrix can solve the murder and find out who killed Jimi Hendrix. Created by Mags, July 2015. So this game's fairly new. It's obviously a free game, and we'll jump right into it. So I have no idea anything about this game. Uh, and the menu music is pretty funny because it's like disco. Well, maybe more like funk, but uh, nothing related to the style of Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> it's kind of like the smooth jazz guitar. So let's get right into it. You're finally here, Jimmy. That's funny. They're, everyone is Jimi Hendrix. That's great. So who's our Jimi Hendrix? Male, probably 28 years old. What a way to go, huh? Any leads on his identity? Not yet. Ask around, would you? Okay, so we have a badge and we have a gun. And we have a menu. Which is resume, save, load, exit, the title, and desktop. And the music is turned down for some reason. Let's turn up the music. It's got very really good music. All right, let's see. The, the body. Okay, you ask questions here. Okay, the body. Racist. I know, man. Well, if you had something of his, it might help. Goodbye. Okay. Let's check the body out. Boys will take care of that soon enough. Head out whenever you're ready. We'll wrap this up and get the body back to the morgue. Let's talk to him. Man, you don't see this kind of thing every day. Jimmy was the one who found the Vic. He's appending his guts over by the dumpster. And the Hendrix. Sorry, Jimmy. Busy taking prints. Talk to Jimmy. He might know something. <laughs> and they all look exactly the same. That's pretty funny. Okay. Scarf. Oh, I didn't even see what it said. Okay, I just got it. Okay. Check the dumpster. I'm not going to dig around in there if I can't help it. It's basically like uh, a lot of those old Sierra type games. That's what all adventure game studios are. They're all point and click. Um, it's an application now to uh, make point and click, click type of games. The door's locked and I don't know, have a reason to go bashing it down right now. Uh, puke. Jimmy, you're finally here. Yeah, I was the one who found him. Well, the, the lady of the of the night out there found him. She wasn't expecting this. We need her to give us an ID, but she's too scared to come down here. So do I need to talk to her more? Say trail for a bit. He's got to go all the way around. Sticky blood. That's about it. Okay, what about this one? Sticky blood. Probably says the same thing here. Yep.
the scarf. Oh, that's Jimmy Scarf. Jimi Hendrix. He lives up in apartment 17 across the pond. You know, the nice guys. The ni You know the... You know nice guy was part of a band, I think. The pond. Yeah, the pond. This alley between buildings floods all the time. We call... We all call it the pond. Um, do you think I could keep this? Jimmy was a good guy. I'd like to pass it on to his girl. You know, Protocol says he can't. Protocol can take its clammy fish lips and kiss my behind. Thanks, I know she'd appreciate it. Scales. Now, what are these? Something about the case smells fishy. Real fishy. Okay. Let's review the case so far. Who was the victim? <laughs> yep, Jimi Hendrix, 20 years old, hell of a way to go. Killed in the alley between apartment buildings. What was strange about the crime scene? Scarf. Nah, the working girl confirmed the scarf belonged to the victim. There's something else about the situation. Badge. Scales. Yeah, fish scales? What were they doing? Having a disagreement over fish and a chip night? Too strange. I'll have to hold on to these. That body's probably at the morgue by now. Something tells me I should stop by and take a closer look at it. So now he's investigating at the morgue, I presume. The music's actually really well done on this, I'm surprised. Jimmy, you look like hell. How long has it been since you got a decent night's sleep? Any messages for me? Just your mo mother worried sick about you again. You should call her sometime, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. You're starting to sound like a broken record. Hey, Jimmy. Police Chief Jimmy wants to see you. <laughs> Does he want to grill me over how I handled the last scene again? Last case again? Same thing. You know he, how he is. Impersonates the Chief. Give me 10 minutes for this guy, and I'll have him singing the blues for me. Good work on the last case, Jimmy. Boss doesn't think so. That's the boss for you. A sting operation that's that big is bound to have casualties. Don't beat yourself up over it. You did good. Thanks. We can't work all the time, Jimmy. Sometimes we gotta take a break. Hey, you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? <laughs> Jimmy, the boss said he wanted to speak to you. I don't know what it's about. The boss, Jimmy, wants to speak to me. That's Afro Jimmy, huh? Overweight Jimmy. <clears throat> Jimmy, you piece of jet, Sam. Get in here. Yeah, yeah, what is it this time? You flounder on the case like the last one, and you'll be all washed up in this precinct. Just like the last time you said this? I don't need you flaking out. This case is already circling down the drain. Blood's in the water, Jimmy, and the DA's circling us like sharks. I ain't gonna fry for your mistakes anymore. Anything else, boss? I, know, I like how he does, they don't have a picture for him. I wanted to see the overweight Afro Jimmy. I wanted to actually see the picture. Get your pathetic self out of here. We're on thin ice and it's ice fishing season if you get my drift. I don't. <laughs> get out. That's pretty funny. Alright, let's check this file. Account. Can't reach it from here. Alright, so he wanted to go to the morgue. I thought we were in the morgue, but we're in the police station. Uh, 
Oh, the morgue is this way. Uh, elevator. Oh, here we go, morgue. <clears throat> Enter the four-digit code. Uh, let me just guess here. Nothing happens. Nineteen seventy. Let's just see. I'm just using years of when Hendrix was alive and active. Seventy one. I'm gonna go up to seventy three. Two. Seventy three. Nope. Thought it would be one of those years. Alright, let's just see if we can find some more uh, clues. Crime scene. Back to the station. Crime scene. Okay, we can check crime scene out now. Electrical box. Circuits aren't marked, and it's not something I want to take a chance with. What about the blood? Nothing. Okay, let's go this way. Now can I go in the door? Door's locked and I don't have a reason to be bashing down I'm bashing it down right now. Okay. So I need to find a way to get the code for the morgue. Can't go that way. It's funny because this game is like uh, kind of like a satire, I guess, but it's actually really well done. I wasn't expecting it to be this well done. Uh, okay. Let's get back in the car. Uh, I guess let's try to check out the place, police station a little more. More thoroughly. Yeah, I need a four-digit code for... This guy's cross-dressed. Is that a girl? It's a girl, huh? Oh, wait. What do you say? The more code, I just know that the first two digits are different. Okay. One of these guys can give it to me then. Oh, the more can say I remember much, Jimmy. Hmm. One number was double, that's for sure. The morgue smells like wet dog. I try never to go down there. I think it started with a three, you know? Sorry. Oh, gross. No, I wouldn't know at all. I never go down there. It's creepy as hell. <clears throat> Definitely ended with a 48. Can't help you there beyond that. So it should be 3348. Did she say the first two numbers are the same or, or different? Huh. So 4833 or 3348? Let's try 3348. 48, 33. Huh. Okay, let's see what he says again. Definitely ended with... 48. Can't help you beyond that. Okay, 48. I wouldn't know all. I'd never go down there. So, engine 48. And... The morgue smells like wet dog. I, try, I think it started with a 3. So, he said 3. He thinks it started with a 3, and the end is 48. The more code, I just know that the first two digits were different. 
That's not very helpful. So all I got is 48 and 3. Let's see what the chief says. Probably just gonna cuss me out. <laughs> Jimmy, you piece of jet sound, get in here. Yeah, yeah, what is it? It's basically repeating, uh, same crap. I would think 4833, but he's not sure, so. Thirty-three forty-eight. I just put that right, yeah. Forty-eight thirty-three. Nothing happens. Forty-eight forty-four. No. Well that their hints are not not enough to help really. The more code, I just know that the first two digits are different. So I would assume 48. A number was doubled. Maybe 3483. Let's try that. Three forty eight three. Ah, damn. Four thirty three eight. Forty eight three zero. Can't really inspect anything, huh? Uh, just right click. My trusty 38 special. Detective J. Hendricks, Fishburg Police. You don't need to shoot the lock. Let's shoot it open. Just talk to the cons constable and you can enter the code like a normal person. Okay, let's put it away then. See if there's any more options going out. Uh, crime scene back to the station. All right, guys. Uh, I'll leave the video at here, and if I actually figure out the code, I'm gonna try to figure it out off camera, and then when I do, I will um, post the next video. So this is the Jimi Hendrix case. Let me know what you think, leave a comment in the comment section, and thanks for watching.